Okay guys, um, tuloy natin yung annotations and preparing your sheet here in Revit. So we've done the annotations, um, basically the grid and the dimensions. Now let's uh, do the spot elevation. Ideally, we do that in our section. So let's go to our section one. And we would like to have uh, some spot elevations. For example, the top of the ceiling, the finished ceiling line. You can click on spot elevation right here. We're still in the annotate tab. Click spot elevation and then you click that. Yan, makikita na yung level of that uh, uh, finished ceiling line. Let's say here as well. And here have another seating line right there of course you can add as much as uh, as much levels as you want let's say the top of your railing you want to put the uh, um, level on that so you can see it there or like and of course let's say the top of your roof put two on there okay and the top of this part of the roof you can add in a level also this okay when you're done you just click escape two times when you're done okay so you can put as much uh, annotations that you need to um, just for the sake of this video we're doing only those much section two you can add more as well uh, as you need let's say um, let's add spot elevation here on the top of the uh, wall opening so, saan naman natin nilalagay yung spot coordinates? Let's say you're in the ground floor plan. You want to put a spot coordinate at the corner of the property. Spot coordinates dyan. So, let's say kung nailagay mo yung muhon mo, automatically, the correct coordinates will come out of the uh, structure of the drawing. Pwede rin dito yan sa corner of your uh, building. And as much as you like. Okay, tagging. So uh, architects need to tag the windows, the doors, and even the walls and other elements of the, of the building. So to do that, it's very easy in Revit. Click uh, tag by category. You can only select the categories that you want to uh, tag manually. But if you click on tag all, you can tag everything with the option of clicking uh, um, selecting the elements that would be shown. Let's try tag by category. Now, click tag by category. It will let you tag, for example, this window. That's window 25. It gives that tag. Tag that again. Say tag. Um, click another tag by category. Say so you want to tag the wall. But since we did not give uh, classification on the walls yet, it's, it remains as a question mark. But we can put one here. Let's say W1. Let's say wall one. Okay. So if we tag the other walls, look what happens. Annotate. Tag by category. Tayo, di ba? The same type of wall will be tagged as wall one. You can, can break that and you can move that a little bit like that. If you change this, let's say, like you like in the code na uh, WA-01. Para medyo technical siya. Yes, mapabalitan na rin yung iba niyan. So that's that. Depends on, on your on how you classify your your tagging. Okay? And also that goes the same for the doors and everything. So let's undo. Gawin natin yung tag all. Let's click tag all. When you click tag all, this um, dialog will come out and it gives you an option which ones you want to tag. Let's say I want to tag the doors. I want to tag the rooms. The rooms are already tagged. We don't want to do that. I want to tag the, the walls and the windows. Yeah. You want to put the leader? Yeah, fine. Keep it there. And click apply. Click OK. And automatic lumabas na yung tags. Okay. So since the walls does not have a tag yet, what you can do is you can identify. Let's say boundary wall 1. Dash. 
to the one. Yeah. Yes. So the boundary wall is already tagged. The internal wall, you can add, let's say, IW dash zero. Yes. Tag na yung the rest of the wall. And if you want to tag your external wall, um, you can do it as much as you can. And of course, uh, just to arrange it para hindi nag-block yung, yung uh, mag-wall natin, you can move it manually. Uh, you can rearrange it and uh, sort of uh, pull the things a little bit away from the other text. Okay, so that's Keynote. And if you want to add a text, just text notes. For example, you want to put uh, uh, a note outside, you can just type, t click on text right here and you can just type something here and then you maybe you'll say um, future development okay, yes, right there. And of course you can adjust the size of this text click on the text you have option 2.5 mm area if you want to make it a little bit bigger that will be let's correct the spelling okay so nandiyan na tayo sa text and uh, now we're almost ready to prepare our sheet so whatever you have here in your project browser the floor plans your ceiling plans um, 3d views elevations and sections you can easily put them in your sheet um if you've watched the video, the short video on preparing the, the title block, um, you, it, it teaches you how to prepare your own title block. So you, if you haven't watched it, please watch it. It's a three minute video that is very easy. So uh, sheet, we will uh, click new sheet and we will load our own title block. Let's find our own title block. It should be in our desktop. Uh, 2020 tutorial that's our own title block and you click open and you click OK so that's our own title block with your own logo and of course I uh, taught you last time that you can update on the uh, project information so let's do it as a sort of review go to your manage tab we have uh, the project information right here so you click on that and we enter the project information so let's say organization name you put your name as uh, my architect your office design and build building name is the one dash 20 And all of those information will be uh, included now. 